In recent years, there have been games that blow up in popularity out of nowhere. In an age where games come and go in the matter of months, it's harder and harder for a game to stay relevant. The latest game taking the internet by storm is a small indie game called Friday Night Funkin'. The game is known for its unique style and passionate modding community, but as with anything this popular, there are some weird things that have to do with this game. And in this video, it's no exception. Today, I'll be taking a look at fake Friday Night Funkin' mobile games. I then went to the App Store and downloaded as many games as possible. The first game I'll be looking at is Friday Night Music Funkin' Game. And this one is actually number 9 on the music charts. Well, for first impressions, this is definitely a Friday Night Music Funkin' game, that's for sure. The game itself is just a remake of Friday Night Funkin' on mobile. Just imagine a song from the game, and there it is. But on mobile. The only drawback is that there's literally three songs. Tutorial, Bopey Bo, and Spookies. So for the mobile port, remember what it looks like here, and then have it mutilated beyond belief. Even with three songs, it's still a decent enough mobile game. The arrows actually feel really responsive considering it's on a touchscreen. However, I don't see a reason why people would play it over the original, or even the Roblox game, cause that one has a shit ton of mods in it. But again, for Friday Night Funkin' on the go, it's alright. The next game we'll be looking at is FNF Week 7 All Songs. I think I know what this game's gonna have. I guess they're technically not lying, but none of the notes are lining up, making it more of a music game than a rhythm game. In order to hit the note, you have to hit the button roughly a second before it actually lines up, which is why in this clip it looks like I suck at the game. But it's not like it really matters anyway, since even if you miss all the notes, you can still play the game, as there's no punishment for losing. Uh, maybe the other songs are better? Okay, the song hasn't even started, you could relax, game. So yeah, the game never really improves. And again, just like the last game, there are three songs. Oh, and when you beat the song, you get this EPIC VICTORY MENU. Overall, this game is bad. The next game we'll be looking at is FNF SARS and Ruff Mod. Wait, like the disease? Okay, why are they singing regular songs? The game is literally called Sars and Ruff Mod, what the fuck? Another thing these games really like to do is have one character sing all the songs, which is kinda weird. Hell yeah, Tricky, you're the best girlfriend a man could ask for! <laughs> Otherwise, the game's actually pretty good. There's a decent selection of songs, the controls are responsive, and the game doesn't make anything easy on you. When you play this mobile port, you're playing the original charting. However, I did have a hard time on Gospel and Zavadilla, as the touch controls struggle with fast and double notes respectively. This could partially be because I'm used to the regular arrow controls, and given enough time, I should be able to adapt. Now, I do want to show this game some praise. It's not very money hungry. The only ads you ever see is when you're claiming a reward, but even then, they're only 5 seconds at most. After that, you could replay the level infinitely with no more ads. The game also has cutscenes, just like the original mod, yet another reason why it's good. Overall, this game isn't half bad. I just hope it gets well soon. The next game we'll be looking at is simply titled Miku Mod. Honestly, I'm only getting this game because it's a JoJo reference. Also, that's the only picture on the store page, so I guess they're pretty proud of JoJo. Wow, what a lively menu. Just like the other game, this game also has a lot of songs. And yes, Fugo's actually there in the game. I find it weird that all three characters in this picture are copyrighted. And wow, the controls are terrible. The notes never give any sort of feedback when you touch them, so you have no idea whether you hit or miss a note. There also doesn't seem to be any punishment for missing notes, as once your health bar goes down to zero, nothing happens. Again, I just got this game for the JoJo reference, honestly there's not much to this game. It's fine. The next game we'll be looking at is Friday Night Battle. 
So we got this. The gimmick of this game is that it's Friday Night Funkin', but you fight. In this game, you can play as a large variety of characters, including but not limited to boyfriend from Roblox, boyfriend from Gary's Mod, girlfriend but also from Gary's Mod. What is that thing? What the fuck? Oh, and then there's also Witty. Yo, I'm Witty. And of course, we can't forget about Teacher, everyone's favorite Friday Night Funkin' character. Hey, how you doing? So of course this game's a masterpiece, but there are a few flaws. Despite there being potential to unleash epic combos like this, the controls in this game are surprisingly stiff. In fact, this is the only combo I've gotten in 18 minutes of footage. Also, the bots are more than willing to spam special attacks to keep you at bay. The greatest example of this is when I fought against Leah, another OC. The second the round started, she was immediately on my ass, and the spamming didn't stop until after I lost. Also, there's some random disembodied voice that comes in every couple seconds, saying very memorable and not generic at all lines, like... It's gonna be a battle! And also... Ouch! And also... He's teaching him the hard way! And also... It's gonna be a battle! Yeah, it's really just those three lines over and over again until the round is over. Also, every time you start a fight, the game says this... The real Friday Night Warrior fan never defeated. Be real. This is not a dance battle, this is real battle. And then the fight happens. Another problem I have with the fighting in this game is that there's way too many buttons. It makes controlling the game ten times harder. Also on the main menu there's an option called face-to-face -face battle. You'd think it's multiplayer, but it's actually not. That doesn't really matter anyway though, because... Overall, this game's actually awesome. Go play it. The next game we'll be looking at is Friday Night Tiles. When it comes down to it, this is just piano tiles but with a Friday Night Funkin' skin. And a bad one at that. When you have to hold down notes, it doesn't even keep up. And all the while, stolen fan art from Friday Night Funkin' is playing in the background. Something interesting is that the background music rarely ever lines up with the tiles. So in essence, it's no better than the Week 7 one. I'm really sorry for reminding you of that game's existence. Overall, there's not really much I can talk about. It's literally just piano tiles, but stolen. So the next game we'll be looking at is UGG FNF Mod Different Skin. Yup, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. The game on the thumbnail. And safe to say... It's awful! There's a decent number of levels in this game, but they all play virtually identically. Notes randomly fall from the sky, and if they even resemble a pattern that matches the song, it's a coincidence. Hitting the notes only really affects one thing, and that's the small bar at the bottom. Any animation except for the idle animation, never play. There's also only one way to end the level, and that's by losing. Cause as you can see here, your reward for beating the level is to play it again. Not gonna lie, the boyfriend in this game looks sort of like that OC from the inside of the game's files. I'm just gonna ignore every single other cursed thing that was in that clip. One bit of praise I will give to this game is that the hit detection actually isn't that bad. At least compared to some of the other horrors I've witnessed. So yeah, overall this game's fucking terrible. The last game we'll be playing is FNF Pico Dance. Oh god. Wow, I cannot wait to play FNF Pico Dance. I'm gonna start with the call simulator bit just to get it out of the way. Wow, which one of these cool characters are we gonna pick? Haha, <laughs> wow, it's Rose's instrumental. Wow, it's Thorn's instrumental. Senpai instrumental, how original. Okay, that was just a warm up. Let's move on to the real game. So there's an option for easy, normal, and hard. I'm gonna choose hard, cause I'm a true gamer. Wait, this sounds a bit familiar. Oh, because they stole it from a Roblox game! Ah, uh, yes, of course, because stealing from Piggy's really funny. 
Now I'm not a fan of Piggy or Roblox at all for that matter, but why would you take a song from there? If you were gonna steal a song, wouldn't you take it from, oh I don't know, Friday Night Funkin', the game you're ripping off? I'll also add that the notes aren't completely synced with the music at all times, which can get seriously annoying. I guess it's better than having completely unrelated notes, but not by that much. Let's try normal, maybe then it would be a different song. Nope, it's just a different version of the exact same song. Hell, the mapping hasn't even gotten any easier. So overall, this game is... kind of mediocre. Yeah, that's basically it. Well, that's the end of this video, gamers. But if you like my review style, you might want to check out my multi-reviews playlist. This is a playlist filled with a bunch of similar videos to this one, where I review multiple games in one video. Also, only 9.6% of people that watch my channel are actually subscribed. So if you find yourself coming back to the channel often, I recommend it. If you don't like getting notifications, just don't hit the bell. If you enjoyed this video, please show your support by hitting the like button and leaving a comment, as it helps to spread the reach of the video. Alright, I'm out.